everybody. I did it. Soaking wet now. Uh, welcome to Everyday Journey. Tell everybody I do the uh, do this dump in the water over my head for a uh, hundred well, hundred plus now. I think it's like a hundred and two now. I just didn't have time to get to it, but a hundred subscribers, and sure enough, I just did. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I didn't. So <laughs> it was pretty pretty grody. And uh, as you can see, I'm filthy now. So enjoy the show. All right, I know you probably can't hear me very well, um, but here's what I've rigged up. It's still full of water. Uh, I got myself uh, giant hose clamps or whatever around it. Put two of them. Just screwed them together on each side. Put some rubber, old inner tube or whatever. A couple of places around this just to keep it kind of from slipping. Um, put me some 550 cord through on each side, hooked it up to a hook up on my deck here so that uh, it'll hang freely. And, uh, and then for safety's sake, I actually just went ahead and tied me a screw or tied me a, a little bit of the 550 cord innards around the, uh, the nozzle here and uh, put a washer over it and then I just used a regular used a metal one so hopefully it wouldn't slide off but uh, just come off of uh, my wife's car so anyway I got that up there on the hook so that it should I mean it swings freely but in the case that it comes loose then uh, hopefully it won't fall on my head because that would suck so we're trying to trying to give you guys a little bit of entertainment not trying to kill myself so Next thing I gotta do is actually cut it. So I'm gonna cut the top off of here. I'm actually gonna puncture the tube. Or I'm actually gonna cut all the way around the, uh, the bladder that's inside there so that whenever this thing dumps, everything comes out. So probably including the bladder. Um, but yeah, so now I just gotta take it down and, and uh, I'll probably just rig up a, a rope or something on here so it'll hold it upright and uh, and then whenever I let it go, there you go, that's what it'll do. So, we'll see what it does. Alright guys, as you can see, it's completely full. Let's cut this bladder completely open so we get it to to all pour out once <laughs> if you notice now I also have a lot of rubber that's uh, been cut by the by the grinder <laughs> not only do I have dirty water but now I have more dirty water because of the rubber so, and this thing smells like burn rubber right now uh, on top of the nasty smell of everything else this water is man I have to look at the date and see but this it's got to be six months old minimum since I first posted the video and then uh, oh, and then it's got to be I mean it, it was in it was in her house for like seven years I think so granted that water shouldn't have been that bad because it was at least chlorinated water going through it, whatever, but as it's been sitting here for six months without being any new water added to it, it's probably, well, I mean, it's funky, so. This is nasty. Yeah. 
All right, just so you can see what I did here, I put a uh, basically tied a string with a loop on the end. Used my string that I had attached to the uh, to the water there. Um, tied a loop on it, and then put a nail through both. So now I have a quick release. I'm just gonna pull the nail, and watch it fall. All right, guys. Here's the 100 subscribers. Because it's uh, 4th of July, we'll go ahead and put on the, the shades. Let's see where we're at. I think this will get me. Alright, here goes nothing. Uh, I really don't want to do it. Oh, this is going to be cold and nasty. Uh, here we go. Man. This is for you guys. One, two, three, go! Oh, I got my mouth. Oh, nasty. Oh. oh, grody. Hmm. Well, it felt good on a hot day, but it's... Oh, God. Alright, guys. That was pretty nasty. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, because I really didn't. Uh, definitely uh, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate, appreciate the subscriptions. Uh, appreciate the likes, the comments, and everything. Uh, my next thing, I guess, will be uh, at 200. We'll go ahead and set a goal there. And you know what? You guys go ahead and respond and let me know what you think... Uh, what you think I should do if you if it's if it's not too unreasonable um, as long as I deem it safe and you know it's not going to cost me a ton of money or anything like that then uh, heck I'll go ahead and do it so th go ahead and throw some comments out there let me know what what I should do next and uh, and we'll we'll pull from all those and see what we can do so uh, appreciate you guys watching please like and subscribe uh, if you've not seen this channel before then uh, there, there's more videos to come. It just takes me some time. So, uh, happy 4th of July, everybody. I know I'm going to enjoy it as soon as I get this shower. So, y'all take care. Bye. For those who are still watching, uh, here's our tank. And this one's a little different, just so you know. Uh, just so you can see. I don't know if you can or not. Um, but basically, this one, instead of having a bladder, I think before the, the bladder filled up the whole thing um, on the other tank but this one here actually is just to this ridge that you can see around the side it actually somehow they've got it kind of crimped in there so it's a half bladder and uh, and of course the water comes out you know goes into it this from this direction but but yeah it's just a half bladder in there and I don't know if uh, I, I doubt it leaked around the edge but it uh, seems like being a half bladder it couldn't really, you know, it's got to fill this whole side of the tank if the pressure in it gets low. So, um, so if it, it if it leaked air out of the valve in the back, that would cause this to to press further this way, and I think that would probably overexpand it and actually probably cause a rupture. So that may or may or may not have been what the cause of you know why this one failed. So we'll never know. So thanks again for watching.